Hey guys, well, as we sit here in the middle of winter, we figure spring and fishing is a long way off. And it might be, but at the same time, this is the time to get those lures painted and get ready. Now, I thought today we're going to do a 1.5 square bill, a nice shallow diver for that early spring fishing. And I haven't really done a lot with the 1.5s. And with this one today, we're going to use a stencil. Stick with me. All right, as I said, we are going to do this 1.5 in a baby bass pattern. This is really kind of a simple pattern to do, too. We'll use a stencil with it to get that baby bass design, but other than that, it's really kind of simple, kind of easy. So we're starting out. This might be one to do, too. Create text, opaque white to begin with. Let's get that overall base coat on there before we put in our colors. If you guys have been watching enough of these, I should just be painting a whole bunch of these white and skip this step every time, right? You see that same step every time. That'd be getting boring. All right, that's done. Let me clean up. Let's move on to some colors. All right, our next step. Now, this is one you wouldn't necessarily have to do. You could just leave it right here with the opaque white. But I'm going to come back with some Createx pearlized white. And I'm going to put that in the belly because I like the pearlized colors. I like the sheen you get from the pearlized. And I'm sure that doesn't show up for you much in the cameras, but I really like the looks of it. So I took the extra step with the pearlized. You wouldn't have to do that if you don't want to. All right, let's move on. Now, for my bass patterns, and a lot of times for my bluegill patterns both, I now kind of move away from the Createx colors because I find colors I like better through Walmart, through the Apple Barrel brand. I like the palm leaf. I believe I was told once that might be discontinued. You might have a hard time finding that in some stores. Uh, I went in and found a light colored one. I, I still got some of this one left. But I start out with a palm leaf. I just like the greens I get because they're kind of the colors that I'm looking for. Oops. Push that around a little bit, didn't I? All right, but well, we need to thin these down. The Walmart paints are too thick. They're not designed for this. They're a craft paint, but they're not really designed to be run through a paint gun. So we're going to thin them a little. And how far? You don't want to get carried away too much, too thin. They get too watery. I've seen people say, oh, they got to be like milk. Well, I didn't think milk was thicker than water, but maybe it is. I don't know. But I just want to get it kind of thin there. I think we'll see if that's going to work or not. And it's going to be, if you haven't done it before, it's going to be a little touch and go, probably. There we go. All right. Now, we'll leave the belly alone. We're going to go at least to the lateral line. Alright, that's where I'm going. Now technically I suppose a person could really stop right there if he wanted to. He could almost make that a bass right there, but we're going to take one more step here. So hang on just one second. Now, I'd like this to be a little darker right on top. And if you want to keep things simple, you could probably come back with opaque black. And you could run a black line right down the back and you could probably get by with that. It would work alright. I'm going back with Apple Barrel. It's English Ivy Green. It's just a darker green. And we're just going to take the same cup. It isn't going to make any difference. Let's just put a little of that dark. Well, I got way carried away with that. So now we're going to have to put a bunch of water in there. I squeezed too hard. And we got some of the white color, but it isn't going to make any difference because we're just making our own color now. I got enough paint for about 17 lures here. I think we can shoot that through. We'll find out real quick. If we don't, we'll just have to do something different. There we go. All right, we're just going to go right down the back. And I want to come in on the eyes, but stay toward the bill. 
and that's it. That's all I wanted to do. And you can see, I like that darker green versus the black. You can, like I said, you use the black, but I like just take that light colored green, darken it up just a little bit. And aside from marking on the side, I think we got a bass there. It looks to me like anyway. Nice, simple, easy. We're going to dry this really well. Take the heat gun to it, and then we're going to put on our stencil. Okay, guys, for the stencil, I'm going to have to apologize to you on that. Yeah, it's already there. I'll come on, I'll show you again. I went with the lure parts online. These are the ones I purchased. I'll put a link in the description. This is called Baby Bass 1. I think they have two of the bass ones. As you can see, I used it. I put the black on. I videotaped it. When I got done, there was nothing there. So, sorry about that. But there's what she'll look like once I got them in. And basically when I'm doing these stencils, there's a spot here for the bill and the eye. I'm trying to kind of hold the eye into place, set it in, do the paint. Here's one for the left side. This one over here would then be for the right side. So I've used these in some other videos. Anyway, sorry again. You didn't get to see putting the stencil on. Don't have any idea what that camera did. But... As you can see, we had the eyes in too. Let's get a top coat on, okay? Gonna use Bob Smith Industry 30 minute slow cure. Yeah, I gotta cut these sitting on the side. I put them this time of year. I like to put them in some hot water. Thins them down a little and just gives me more time to work with them. Says you have 30 minutes, usually course you do not. Summertime is better than the wintertime but that's when it's thinner which is why I put a little hot water on them. Mix it around a little bit. Equal parts of it. As far as the brush is concerned as you probably if you've watched enough of my videos you heard me say before just a cheap Walmart brush. That's all I use. You can buy 20 or 30 of these for under two dollars. I gotta look up every once in a while and make sure I'm leaving this in front of the camera so you can see it. Nothing real special about doing this. It's just get it on as quickly as you can so you have plenty of time. So if something does happen, you're not uh, so tight for time. And just basically make sure everything is covered. That's all you really need to worry about. Just make sure you got it covered everywhere and you'll be in good shape. And that's really all that it takes to put a top coat on. So you can see I went with the red eyes. I like the red eyes with this one. And there we go. I think I got it everywhere. Make sure that nose is good. All right, got it. There's the baby bass. Let's see, do I got a wire? Yes. Let's see if I had a wire over here. What I'm gonna do is I hang mine up. I've just got a wire. I'll stick a wire in the back. We'll hang it up this way. Everything kind of goes down the wire and just makes it easier to take care of from there. All right, when we get it all dried up, we'll see what we got. Well, there we go, guys. There's our baby bass pattern. You know, I really like that stencil, and I think I'm going to try this a few more times, probably with a topwater popper and probably even a wake bait. That would probably work real well there. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.